Hello, everyone. In this episode we will be reviewing Rainbows, the new collection of sequencers by Pathset for VCV Rack. Grid, as its name implies, is a grid of 9 notes. We start connecting the clock and reset inputs as usual. Then we send the gate and CV outputs to SFZ player by Squinky Labs. The notes are color-coded, and that nice light blue of the buttons means they're playing E. In the right-click menu we can set a note for a specific button. Or we can configure the overall settings clicking in the plate, outside the buttons. Now the root note is E3. We can set a custom scale, or choose a predefined one. The knob with the measure icon is to set the length of the sequence. The knob with the circle set the level of the ratchet. The speed of the ratchet can be changed in the contextual menu. The knob with the X set the level of chance a note will be muted. The knob with something that seems to represent a seed, set the starting position of the sequence. Also in the contextual menu, we can change some octaves up or down. The knobs beside the horizontal and vertical arrows change their respective bias. Every time a cycle of the sequence is done, grid goes ahead with the next phrase, which we can see on those little dots below. The phrase count knob changes the number of phrases. The phrase consistency knob, with the butter icon, controls the amount of variance of the phrases. They are shown in different light colors. The phrase step knob changes the variance sequences. Every module in the Rainbows collection has a playhead expander and a randomizer expander. This way we can control the randomization of notes with triggers instead of the contextual menu. Long pressing a button shows which notes of the grid will be affected. And we can edit them as well. The other expander is the playhead. It multiplies by 4 the number of playheads. What before was a circle, now is a set of 4 independent quadrants. We can merge them to get some polyphony. Bridge is another member of the family. In this case, there are four rows with eight notes. They can be affected by the three bridges rows in between. All the modules share some features regarding the notes and functions. Let's start with four steps to see the behavior of the bridges. The skip bridge makes the sequence skip the step. The mute bridge silence the note. Ratchet creates a quick succession of the notes along the columns. Borrow plays notes from the other row. The chance of playing a bridge can be controlled with the AB odd knob. The swap bridge interchange the notes of the rows. And the jump bridge moves the play head to another row. That's too heavy. Take it easy, buddy. Bridge also has a randomizer and a playhead expander.
Now it's ring time. Here are also four rows of eight notes, but they are rotated. Each row has CV inputs to control its length, its mute chance, and its ratchet chance. In between the rows, the jump knob makes the play head move to the next row in a clockwise direction. This arrangement creates four concentric rings as well and can be rotated independently with the controls on the right. And last but not least, there's crossing. It's a grid of 6 by 6 steps, and it's 25 intersections. Now the row has a horizontal crossing effect, so the play head is going back and forth. If we change one intersection to vertical, you can see the play head moves to the row below. Cross up, and cross down, move the play head in the direction of the line. The dashed line means it works on every other attempt and the roundabout intersection makes the play head travel around him. These play heads are in a loop created by a roundabout. We temporarily change one crossing to free some play heads. We can control the ratcheting and the chance of muted notes. The probability of a playhead to keep rolling around can be controlled by roundabout low. The opposite knob set the chance of a playhead to do the opposite thing at a crossing. This new collection of sequencers adds a valuable toolkit for developing generative harmonies and melodies. The color code and the visual metaphors give a quick comprehension of what's going on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.